All right, y'all. So I just got back here from traded PGA European Tour, Mickey's Speedway USA, and Twisted to Edge Extreme Snowboarding for these six games here. So three games for six. Not a bad deal at all. These are all in good shape. This guy was super cool. He's going for a full N64 set. So he said he's got doubles and stuff. And so the original deal was these five games here for PGA and Mickey's Speedway. And then I asked him if he needed Twisted Edge or Madden, the other two games I was getting rid of. And he said, bring Twisted Edge. And then I get there and he's, he threw in Rampage World Tour for Twisted Edge straight across. And the label's like slightly faded, but it's in good shape. And I tried to give him courtside back, but he's like, no, dude, keep it, burn it, do whatever you want to do with it. So, I don't know. It's courtside, but hey, you know what? It's Kobe. So, Kobe stuff, I don't know. Probably hold on to it for a while. But I'm really excited to get these three games, well, these four, honestly. Been wanting to pick up DK64 for a long time. I think Donkey Kong, or Diddy Kong Racing traded across from Mickey Speedway should be a Nice swap. I think this game sounds fun. I've never played it before, so that'll be fun. And then Tony Hawk. I'm probably gonna throw this on eBay because I have another copy coming from Goodwill here later this week, I think. Should be able to get like 15 bucks or so from that. And then to top it off, he asked me if I wanted any PS2 stuff like as a gift. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he said he'd just give it to me. So here's all the stuff that he gave me for free. There's an Atari remote, third party GameCube thing, whatever, it's beat to crap, but free. A fat PS2 with the hard drive on it, slim PS2, and then all these games, which, you know, the games are really nothing special, but Liberty City Stories is about a $15, $20 game. And I actually already have this, which I got from Goodwill a few weeks ago. So I should be able to make like 25, 30 bucks out of these two games here. Plus the games I traded the guy were free, which I told him exactly how I got the games. And he was, he was really cool. We talked about all kinds of game stuff for a while and he was super awesome. Threw me in a red PS2 memory card also. And it's funny, the GameStop receipt was in the Grand Theft Auto still from 2006. So I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, not a bad haul. Free stuff's always nice. And I got a GameStop package here that my daughter wants to open. So I'm going to let her do that here in a minute. Peace. So I'm going into this blind. I'm going to let my daughter open the package here. Um, I ordered seven games from... I ordered seven Switch games from GameStop when they had their... It was like a stackable thing where spend... It was like spend 30 or more and you got 30% off. Spend 50 or more and you got 40% off. And spend 100 or more and you got 50% off. So I got seven Switch games for about 65... Under 65 bucks, including shipping and everything. And it looks like they sent them in... Uh, Split shipments. I got the first four today. I got Killer Queen Black, Truber Brook, Real Fishing Road Trip Adventure, and Owl Boy. Um, all pre owned. Like I said, they're all. So these games were less than $10 a piece with this promotion, which is pretty awesome. I'm stoked to try out my Switch with some new games here. And um, yeah, so I'm going to let Gemma take it away and open the package. Ready. Open it up. What do we got? Game. Killer Queen Black. Yeah. And it's brand new. I saw oh. other people getting this one. It says pre-owned, but still in plastic. Real fishing. Two for two so far. Original case. What do we got there? Trooper Brock, three for three. That one's got the original case. Oh man, I hit the lotto. All four of them came in their original cases so far, and Killer Queen Black is brand new. 
So yeah, I saw this. I think it was on Double Jump, Sick Cooper's channel, where he ordered this pre-owned and it came brand new. That's really awesome. Kind of sucks because I want to play this game. So I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it sealed and try my luck at ordering another copy. Owl Boy. No Owl. I don't know anything about any of these games, honestly, either. I just kind of grabbed them because. What the heck is that? Does that mean it's a red box game? Oh well, I bet I can take that off. I know how to get those stickers off the CDs, but I, I have never tried it on a cartridge. I don't know. Hopefully I can get that off of there without ruining the label. But that's cool. I'm so stoked these all came in their own. Ooh, Trooper Brook even has the, some kind of little art book manual thing with it. This game just sounded crazy. Like, what was the, uh, it said, had a quote on here. If Wes Anderson made a video game, it probably looks something like this. So, this game should be cool. Dad, I got bad and news then, and Real Dad, fishing, it's like news. an RPG fishing game. So yeah. Ten, less than 10 bucks a piece for those. Pretty solid score from GameStop. Yeah. Later. So, I got my stuff hooked up. I had an extra controller from the stuff I got from my brother. Turned on fine. Uh, I can't get the disc tray to open though, so I'm just going through and deleting all the stuff off of the memory card that I got right now. It just looks like mostly sports games. But. Some other stuff on here. Was that Tony Hawk, Marvel, Ultimate Alliance, Freedom Fighters, My Toy? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna just clear this memory card. I'm keeping the memory card. I like collecting the first party ones when I find them, especially the cool clear ones. Like this one's the see through red. It's cool. I don't know though. I've never had this issue with the. Oh! Holy crap. It opened that first try that time, so. I doubt Ratchet and Clank's gonna work. That is really scratched, but let's put it in anyways. <clears throat> Continue deleting. I'll have some of these old animations though on the PS2 memory cards. And they like. It's like they're getting flushed down the toilet or something when you delete them. Goodbye, anti-grav. So long, Brando, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Yeah, I'll get back to that. We'll see about the disc. Shows up as a PS2 disc. Yeah. Wow. I've had good luck. I feel like PS2 and Wii discs are the most uh, resilient. Especially like some of the blue bottom uh, PS2 ones get messed up quick. But like, let's see, I think the Super Trucks has the blue bottom. Yeah. A lot of these ones I feel like get scratched and they're harder to come back. But. The ones that just have that clear bottom, like that ratchet did, they can be just beat up. Looks like they've been put across semen or something and they still work. Like, yeah, I can't believe this ratchet clank works right here. That's cool. Oh, oh creating another save game file I'm gonna have to delete. Oh well, that's good. Looks like I don't need to do any repairs. Free PlayStation 2. Everything about it was free because this is from that was from my brother. So thanks again to him. Thanks to the guy I traded with today. That was super awesome of him to give me all that stuff for free. So I'm gonna start testing this out. Uh, Liberty City Stories is probably going on eBay because I already have a copy. Same with like I said, I'm gonna put I believe the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 on eBay, but everything else. All the other 64 games I'm going to hold on to. And then I'm going to lot up this PS2 right now with all these games that I have had no luck selling otherwise. Some of these PS1 games, like 
This one I got at Goodwill. I just used to swap cases on some of the Dreamcast games I got, or these ones from my brother that are, don't have manuals or anything. You know, so. Yeah, let's see if I can make some more money here. On to the next one. Later, guys. All right, if I want to make some sales, I'm going to go ahead and sell this Wii complete in box. Well, it's, the only thing it's missing is the sleeve for the remote and Wii Sports, but otherwise it's complete. I'm going to get 80 bucks for that, which is pretty much pure profit. I've got that Wii itself at the thrift store for $12, and it had Mario Party 8 inside, so I sold that. I'm selling Smash Bros. for 20 locally to another person. I got three packages down here to drop off at the post office. Uh, one of them is Banjo-Kazooie. I got 35 plus shipping for. The other one is Disc Only, Disc 4, Legend of Dragoon. I got six plus shipping for. And then the last one is, uh, gosh, I can't remember. I'm losing, lost track what the last one was, but. Oh, it's Evolution Skateboarding for GameCube. I got 17 plus shipping for that. Got my mask, my sanitizer, my daughter's mask. She's here with me. She's staying in the car for most of it. I am going to make one trade. I'm gonna trade PGA and Mickey's Speedway with the faded cart for Donkey Kong 64, Diddy Kong Racing, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Cruising USA, and NBA Courtside. Um, which seems like a fair deal to me. I am never going to play this. I've had it up on eBay for a couple days for 48 plus shipping. And then I think I even lowered the price to 42 and let it sit for a while and nobody was biting. So, I mean, if I can trade and Mickey's Speedway is kind of cool. I thought about keeping for my kids, but I'd honestly rather play Diddy Kong Racing. So I think that's a sweet deal. And I'm pretty sure the person I'm trading these to is going for a full N64 set. So I asked them if they needed any other titles and they said to bring Twisted Edge and we'll, you know, talk about adding something else or whatnot. So should be a sweet deal. Um, so yeah, let's go. Make some, make some money, get some games. Later. I'm gonna sell all this for 50 bucks cash. With that we. Zelda remote I found the other day. There's two regular Wii remotes. I've had some of this stuff up on eBay for a while. None of it's selling. This one's got like dog teeth marks, but they all still work. We can get 50 bucks out of it. We've probably only spent like 20 tops here. I mean, it's hard to say. I've got like a couple, these two, three, four games were like thrift store finds between a dollar and three dollars a piece. And then pretty much that was three bucks. Everything else in here was from a lot that I've already made my money back plus profit on, so. Yeah, you get 50 bucks cash, at least doubling my money. So, let's go. Later. So I put this up on Facebook Marketplace last night and I put it up for 80 bucks. Had a bunch of people like three people trying to offer me 50 and I said no. I offered one guy, I told him I'd go 65, but then the only person that's been serious just got back to me this morning and they want it. They didn't even haggle me, so they're gonna give me 80 bucks. I took the jumper pack out, or the expansion pack, replaced it with just the regular jumper, and I uh, listed the expansion pack on eBay. I already sold Banjo-Kazooie on eBay within like few hours that sold for 35 plus shipping and so I'm selling the system with F1 World Grand Prix and Knockout Kings 2000 for 80 bucks it's pretty good profit already and I kept so far I've kept the controller that this one's got the looser stick so I thought it was in better condition overall but I went ahead and kept the black one because the stick was just a little better. And I'll probably have to take that one apart and fix it, but yeah. So that's like 55 profit here, plus 35 on Banjo already, about 85 profit. I still got PGA Tour, the expansion pack, and Majora's Mask to possibly sell. 
And I think I'm gonna keep the rest. 